Cancel culture strikes again. Goya Food CEO is refusing to apologize in the face of a liberal boycott of his food company. They're angry after he said America was, quote, blessed to have a leader like President Trump. Take a look. It's suppression of, of speech. In, in 2012, eight years ago, I was called by Michelle Obama to Tampa and I introduced at, uh, in Hispanic Heritage Month President Obama. So, you know, I'm not apologizing for uh, saying, and especially if you're called by the President of the United States, you're going to say, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm busy, no thank you. I didn't say that to the Obamas and I didn't say that to President Trump. All right, Greg, so here we have a guy who's been to the White House with Obama, White House with Trump. This time he goes in support of the Hispanic uh, uh, initiative that provides access to, for education and entrepreneurial uh, 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 outreach. And he gives two million cans of food for those who are um, needed during this pandemic. Does the left hate Donald Trump so much that they don't want Hispanics to get help or poor Americans who are suffering right now to get food? They'll, uh, they will, their hatred for Trump trumps their love for the poor. The best part about this story, one of the boycotters is Lynn manuel Miranda, whose play Hamilton oh, became yeah. a movie and is now under fire for glorifying a slaveholder. So it shows you what happens when you're threatened by the mob. You either fight back or you roll over. Miranda, full-fledged coward, rolled over and went after Goya Foods to save yeah. his own skin. But I have a perfect solution, yeah. which is courtesy of Scott Adams. Cancel culture works because it's one way. People can cancel you because they know where you work, but you can't cancel back because you don't know where they work. So we need mutually assured destruction, full transparency, where all the cancelers, we find out where they work and we so we can contact their companies and their bosses and ask them, hey, are you okay with your employee, Doris Johnson, trying to ruin a Hispanic-run company that feeds millions for free? So we need a company devoted to outing all the cancelers because people don't punch you if you can punch back. That's right. That's right. You get respect from them. But, you know, Dana, the, the CEO of Goya says, you know, this is suppression of my speech, and he's not backing down. What do you think? No, well, first of all, um, Goya is an amazing company. The story of how that company was built over time um, is, is incredible. Plus, they have amazing products. What is also quite stunning is that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is one of the ones leading the charge uh, on the boycott against Goya, but it was Goya that was the first to go right. into the New York boroughs after the coronavirus lockdown started and to basically provide free food to everybody in those areas. So it is absurd, of course. The other thing is, though, um, when you are a CEO and you have 10,000 you know, 10, employees that are relying on you, you know, you can understand why people might be reticent to get involved in politics or to say something about politics. I admire him for not backing down, um, and I don't think that he regrets it for, for one instance. And it's just too bad that it has to cl we have to clarify cancel culture on the backs of this company, which, by the way, again, I would say their products are excellent. I encourage everyone to go out and get some. They are. Yeah, they are. Their chickpeas are great for hummus. All right, Jesse, listen, 36% um, the polls say Biden has uh, 36 points over Trump with the Hispanic community. Does that make sense to you? Well, from what I've heard, uh, the president's making very strong inroads with the Hispanic community, and it's making up for some of his deficits in the suburbs with white women. So. It's obviously too early to tell, but I just had a brilliant idea, maybe the only brilliant idea I've ever come up with on the show, <laughs> and Greg kind of teed me up for it with about the mutually assured destruction thing. You know how you can buy carbon offsets if you're a polluter? You yeah. should just mm. be able to yeah. buy yeah. cancel offsets, right? So, like, <laughs> you, you could just get away yeah. with a lot more if you just pay the right people. That's anyway. Th this country Jesse, is that's too called, good. Jesse, Jesse, yeah. Jesse, that's called virtue signaling. That's why everybody virtue signals. That's their offset. They, oh. they virtue signal, they give money, they do whatever they can so they don't get eaten by the crocodile, but they always do. Okay, I didn't know you but could virtue signal. But that's also what Lin-Manuel Miranda sure. did. Yes, yes. 
Uh, yes, but let me get to my yeah, right. let me exactly get to my non my yeah, non brilliant to... point here. My non brilliant point is this: um, <laughs> this country is too fat to boycott a food country a food company. Have you looked around? <laughs> like, do you think a, a boycott of a food company could last like one meal or two meals? I mean, this is delicious stuff. The taco kits Stop from it, Goya. Jesse. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this is a top 10 dinner item for most families. There's no way this thing's getting boycotted. <laughs> And when you're when you're a, a, a leader right, Jesse, of a multi-billion I'm, I'm dollar company now. in this country, you have to be nice to Republicans. You have to be nice to Democrats because this country just wants to eat. And he was. And that's it. And he was. But Juan, I want to I want to end this with you uh, in terms of look, the left is so focused on trashing people on the right that they don't care that the people that they presume to be on the right are helping poor people, hungry people, helping immigrants. Their, their hate is so dug in. I mean, are you comfortable with this? The right doesn't do this to Obama. And trust me, a lot of people on the right didn't like Obama. But this is like cancel them out, boycott them, make them lose their jobs. Aren't you uncomfortable with that? I don't like boycotts, if that's what you're asking, Judge. But let me just say, we live in politically polarized times. And if you're talking about who likes division, President Trump's pushes buttons of division and polarization quite regularly. I think you'll remember oh. he started his campaign by going after Latin immigrants. He said Mexicans were rapists and thieves. So I think to your point, if no, people punch say. back, he guess what? Some of them there are people no, didn't. who will no, he didn't. There are people who will punch he back from that. the other side. You know what? So I, I, of you course he said, wait a second, of, of course he Juan, said rapist. He used the very no, word you can't rapist, say push Judge. Their you don't want to hear it, that's but what, that's, that's the truth. I, look, no, I don't. I'll tell you what that's you the guys truth. can do. And you know why? Because you, you know what you use guys the can do. The battering, Here's what you can do, Judge. Use, and Judge, they say she hold on, my hold on. You've had your say, Judge. Judge, enough. Is it so hard for you to listen? Come on, Judge. Judge. Yeah, Here, here's you didn't the thing, answer Judge. The question, you can have the opposite effect, which answer is it. guess what? Lots of people who like President Trump can start buying Goya if that's what they want. Maybe they'll like rice and beans smothered in hot sauce. I don't know. But I'm just telling you, we live in politically polarized times and we have a politically polarizing president. Yeah, no, we don't. He doesn't push buttons. Batterers use that excuse all the time when they beat their wives, okay? I hate that term.